Hello Lomzi team, welcome back to my channel Lomzi Souls. In today's sewing tutorial, I'll be sharing with you guys how to transfer a bust that and also how to shape the waist. The last previous video I made, I shared with you guys how to make an easy fitting dress block. So today I'm going to be showing you how to transfer the shoulder that and also um, shape the waist that. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, guys go down below and subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell icon because i upload detailed sewing tutorials every week and share friends and family because you don't know who you're going to help yeah so to my returning subscribers you guys are the best thank you very much for all, always coming back i will continue to give you good content all the way so let's begin guys Yeah, so in the last video, I made how to make this easy fitting dress block. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to transfer this shoulder dart and also how to shape the waist. So the very first thing you have to do is to trace this out. This pattern, you trace it out on another sheet. Remember, I have added this notch. If you remember during when I was making the video on pattern, I added this notch. So you make sure you transfer it to your pattern paper. So I'm going to be transferring this out now and show you. So I have transferred this. This is the front and this is the back. If you see that's how it was there all I did not to do was trace this out onto this paper have my markings down this is the waistline as you can see the waistline and the hip line then you drop it down to any desired length of your choice depends on how you what you want to make you can decide you're making just um, a fitted upper part and the lower part will be flared so you stop at the waistline it really depends on what you're working on so the first thing always remember to transfer your notches for instance if you're adding sleeve to this you have to transfer the notch to the sleeve so that you'll be able to match it up with your sleeve so the very first thing we have to do is the waist that on the back this is the back this is the center back cb is called cb center back so we are going to be shaping this now you will take in from this waist the side this is the zip side this is the side where the sleeve meets. So we're going to be taking in that place now, half 0.75 inches. You take that in, 0.75, you mark that, and you connect that to your under the arm side. So, the next thing you do is to drop it down on the hips remember this is the hip line so you drop it down on the hips so if you're making your your dress you know the human body is not that sharp so you cut this out like so but if you're working on just the upper fitted up you just stop on your waistline so we have shaped this out depends on what you want now this is the back let's transfer the dart in the front so the front this is the front this is the shoulder dart all these things here are they are the dart so we are going to be taking in on the waist one inch you take that in one inch the other one is 0 0.75 inches here is one inch 
and you're going to be connecting this like so connect drop it down to the waistline yeah so this is it so the next thing you have to do is decide where you want your darts to be you have to decide you can transfer your dart to anywhere you can transfer your dart to this place you can transfer it change it from this here and add it to the middle of the shoulder you can transfer it to under the bust you can transfer it anywhere you want to transfer it but for me now i'm just going to be transferring it under this under the bust here so i'm going to be marking it there like so let me cut this out So I want to transfer this to this place. So what I'm going to be doing is I am going to do this. Connect the boss point to this place. I hope you can see. The, then I open up this place. Open up that place. And then I close this. When you close this, you open up another place. So you can see. So you can either do this to this place, to here, anywhere you want to transfer your dart. So if you transfer it here, you use your... You gum it back. So as you can see, I have transferred my dart, closed the shoulder, transferred it under the bust. You know, as it is now, this is really pointing and is almost coming to your chest. So you have to reduce this bust dart so that it's not coming to that place so that you have a nice curve when you, when you uh, close your dart. So what you would do now is... You just add um, something under the under that place. You just add something here and shape your dart. And then you you reduce the dart so that it's not pointed. Is not pointed there, so you reduce your dart. The dart length you reduce it so that it's not that long. So as you can see, I have reduced the dart. It's no longer coming from here. It's coming from somewhere here, so it, it will give you a very nice um, curve around your bust. So um, this is how you can shift this. Assuming you have you're working on the waist, I think maybe I have to do that also. Let me show you if you're working on the waist. Assuming you want your dress to end on the waist, so you trace it from here, you know, this measurement here you measure this this is 3.3 so you take it down and mark it there like so 3.5 and you connect it so when you have gotten your line down what you have to do next is to mark the dart this front that what you're going to be taking out of this place will be 
cm 1.5 inches so that 1.5 inches the both side it will be divided into two right so the both part will be 0 0.75 and 0 0.75 so that's what you are going to be the that will now be so you do this 0 0.75 you mark that here and mark this here i hope you're seeing what i'm doing so you drop this boss point you drop it by half inch you drop it down by half inch and then you join this for your waist shaping waist that shaping so as you can see how it is this is how you're going to shape your the waist so you cut this out So this is the shaping for the front. So this is the back. For the back, you don't need any waist shaping at the back. So you cut this out. So with this now, you have this. So you can see how it is that is it so you can use this to make any dress of your type you can add flare to this but remember we haven't added any sewing allowance so you will go ahead and add sewing allowance to yours when you're making it then you yeah so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet go ahead and do that down below and turn on the notification bell icon and also follow me on my social media handles